watching News 8. CPA Jamie Block is back with us. Jamie, good morning. Good morning, Mark. Well, you know the expression, there are two certainties in life, death and taxes. This topic encapsulates that perfectly, estate planning. Uh, what do we need to know about estate planning? Yeah, there are a few documents that every individual should have. The main ones are a will, a power of attorney, and a health care proxy. All right, let's start with a will. Uh, what makes that so important? Yeah, a will is important because it dictates who's going to be in charge when you pass to make sure you pay off all your debts and where your remaining assets go, if there are any, and who would receive custody of any minor children that you may have. That is a long and important list right there. What about power of attorney? Yeah, a power of attorney is a form that gives authority to your agent to act on your behalf. It can activate once you sign the form, or it can activate when you're determined to be incompetent by um, one or two doctors, depending on what you dictate. Mm -hmm. The agent can act on your behalf and do things such as paying your bills and make sure your house keeps an order in the case that you became incapacitated. Note that once you pass, a power of attorney is no longer valid. Okay, important to note there. Uh, Health care proxy, these are important as well. Yeah, so the person that you choose as your health care proxy will make medical decisions on your behalf if you're not able to make a decision yourself. But include things such as if a surgery is needed, or the proverbial plug needs to be pulled. Right. In New York State, we also have a form called a MOLS agreement, a medical order of life-sustaining treatment that gets really specific on what treatments you do or do not want. We've talked about that with our doctors in this segment as well. Uh, as, as it relates to these types of documents, how often should we be going back to them and reviewing them? Yeah, so you should review these um, documents as well as any beneficiaries on retirement accounts or life insurance policies every couple of years or when you have a life event such as a death, a birth, a marriage, or a divorce. One last question, Jamie. Is there a difference between having a trust and a will? Yeah, so you can actually have both documents do essentially the same thing. However, a will is a public document, while a trust is a private document. The trust uses your Social Security number and gets reported on your return just like in a will. Um, and again, this is for a revocable living trust. But there's typically an extra charge that attorneys um, will charge, obviously, to draft the extra document for a revocable living trust. But again, it's just important to make sure you have at least one of these to take care of your affairs. All right, Jamie, thank you. And I'll say this uh, as we finish up. It goes without saying, if you have questions about these, consult a trusted CPA for needed financial advice. Jamie, thank you again. If you missed any of this conversation, we'll share it online as always at rochesterfirst.com.